is up YouTube, it is Matty and we've got another, another three star with hogs video so I hope you're going to enjoy the offering that I have for you of raids and yes yeah, it's, it's going to be from the wall versus Brenner Chen so big shout out to him, Brenner Chen being the YouTuber so just look to search that name Brenner Chen he is, um, we had a good war, we had a good war indeed but um, after we were able to three star a lot more bases which as you all know from previous wars that results in the win so anyway hog attacks hog 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 bacon um it's now this base i um there's two bases i'm showing this war bow the bow did the raid on number 11 and monster did the raid on number five both were pretty good bases so in this one the double giant bombs which are, are kind of obvious are between the air defense and the expo um over here and the air defense and the expo up here so sort of in the little hole just there um the reason why they're not by the uh, the the other side of these air defenses is because firstly um the pathing doesn't work that way so uh, the king platform doesn't act as um is it doesn't act as, as a defense so the hogs will path towards the archer towards the cannon sorry um, from that way and from this way they will go from the air defense to the cannon uh, sorry to the <laughs> archer tower wizard tower um cannon mortar and then they'll break off to either the air defense or the arch tower so it doesn't it just doesn't there's no pathing that's going to go that way um which is the first thing you got to look at. So there's a few things you got to think of when we do when do doing this sort of raid. Now the reason this um, base sounds pretty good. Look how central the king, the queen, and the CC are. So this base has been designed with hogs in mind, and it's also been designed with Laloon in mind as well. Not that it's unlalunable, and not that it's unhoggable, but it just it's been carefully designed. So it needs to add a few more um, steps in. Or you need to go one step further on the planning. Now I'll tell you what Bao did, which was brilliant, because um, it was a really nice raid. I've got to say. Now his kill squad, he decided to come in through the through six o'clock, yeah, and use the jump spell by the air defence here to unlock um, the compartment with the expo and the double giant bombs in in the attack and it, the fact that the queen would be there, so the queen would pull them into it. And she'd get smacked down herself. Oh, I'm yawning. <laughs> it's so bad, sorry. Um, so, with that, he was able to take down, obviously, the Queen, the Double Giant Bomb. Um, if the, if it all worked out well, of course, it needed. A, it's going to need some good funneling. Um, and the CC, clearly, would need to pull out anyway. So, we'll see how he gets the CC pull. I'd imagine it's quite... Yeah, it looks quite an easy one. So, just use one of the air arch towers or something that's around to uh, to get the CC pull. Probably the arch tower at 5 o'clock. But I'm not 100% sure if he did that. Now, the second giant bombs. Now, you've, you've just got to think. Um, when he paths, paths his hogs, they come from... Some from the... Um, expo and straight across the other expo i think and some go round but old, either way hogs come at them and um, from different angles and it triggers them one at a time so he must have planned that they they were going to sort of fall that way so we're going to replay the, the the raid now and have a look um how he does it so three hogs on the cannon uh sorry on the uh, well more than three actually probably about four or five there but he is taking down two defenses in the process by the look of it which is great and got this full cc pull so multitasking is always a good thing to do if you can do it with them um, at the start of a raid in particular now cc kill is going to be quite easy he's got to strongly think about funneling though because a lot of buildings are quite tightly packed here the level the queen's down wizard in the perfect spot over there oh no it's just been caught by the arch tower that's slightly annoying for him um because he's going to need to 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 either drop another one or readjust so golem's down now he's going to need to consider funneling about now J wall breakers have let the golem in in goes some giants is he going to drop his queen yet king net not yet you can see he's dropped the wizard um, and the king has gone straight in. The jump spell's down. So that's all worked perfectly. 
and the the giant. I love the fact he added some giants in to help, um, just add a bit of weight into there. And you can see the giants have even helped trigger the giant bombs. Kings in there raged up. Now look at the way the hogs are going to come in. Um, now most of the hogs are sort of moving towards the wizard tower, but the few that have gone downwards. Um, this is this is a brilliant part of the pathing of this raid that look what happens now that group of like six or seven hogs or whatever has just moved across to the uh, expo got the single trip regained the health and then the other trip for the giant bomb so if that was planned that is next level shizness <laughs> that is that is awesome if it was by chance um, or high chance because of the way he deployed the hogs that's another thing either way it was awesome and it's something that I, w I want you guys to think about as well in the way when you plan hog pathing don't if you can plan where one pack go one way and another go a different way which might ultimately result in um a giant bomb trigger or a staggered giant bomb trigger or something like that um it could help that raid because i would strongly think that because of the amount of hogs that survived and the way that that worked he got the three star from it because otherwise this is a quite a, uh, quite a tricky base I think um, seems to be quite well designed but it wasn't able to stand up against Bao and he uh, he just went in and and just nailed it, <laughs> it there's, there's no other way of putting it now quite impressed with Monster on this one uh, let's have a look at the base because he took down the top tunnel 9 um, it's always nice to take down the top tunnel 9 if you can it's not the best base design though um, very holoable, and th and the reason it's uh, quite ho susceptible to holo, or even go low wee wee. Um, this would be because anything where the air defences are in the core, and uh, there's a lot of buildings unprotected, so you could sort of go wee wee in through the top side, let's say, or the or the the left side or something like that, and take down half the base, and the other half you can just drop a few loons to f to finish off and. Meanwhile, your golems and witches are in the in the core, um, taking the buildings down while you're looning the the back half of the base. Then suddenly, there's no defences left, and it's game over. So uh, that that's another way to take tackle these bases. But it's nice if you can do a holo. Um, so what he's going to do is just take down some key defences that are, are easy to take down uh, because of the air defence placement. And I think there are some giant bombs he can trip. Uh, it was clearly a clean up attack. Um, so let's just watch how it goes because it, I'd spend too long explaining it and, less, and not enough time reviewing it and watching it if I, if I tried to explain everything he does in the raid. But anyway, look, bottom side loons taking down the defences. is only the uh, wizard tower that survived. He dropped a couple more loons at the top side. A couple of hogs in as well, tripping the giant bombs, which was great. Now... I think he knows that that wizard tower's only got one bar of health left, so I think he does actually drop a hog on it. There it goes, look, he does. Now, he's also trying to finish the CC pull if he can. Hog's going in, and it's tripped another giant bomb. Actually, he might have the full CC pull saying that. I'm not 100% sure. I love the fact he dropped in another small batch of hogs over here, look. Now, that's taken down those defences as well. Hogs have moved in, and now he's got the final CC pull, sorry. So, um very interestingly planned um the, the i mean it's it th that was a lot of time taken by the way um at the start of this raid so it's going to be a tight one on the time um the cc kill is going to be interesting now because the queen's about to get slammed but he drops two wizards to react onto it which is pretty good now the cc have moved into a more well a better position but the golem's getting slammed pretty hard by the wizards but the king's in so he he's cor he's correcting as things are going a bit wrong now all he needs to do now is take down the queen queen's about to go down by the king and now he can think about his hog drop so i think he's going in just from the top side look he's only got about 17 hogs left so it's he needs every one of them to to do well here. He needs a good heal placement spell, um, drop. Sorry, that was a good one, um, because it means that the hogs are going to be in the heal spell a long time while they move between those defenses. Even these bottom two cannon archers, once they go down, they're going to move to the core. Then he'll have another heal spell waiting for them there. That other heal spell was pretty bad actually. I think maybe, um, and then final heal spell probably down by the Teslas. I'd have thought at the bottom. No, no, we're not going to use it. Are we going to use it? No, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, I think he just thought, why not? <laughs> the last few hogs are going down to finish up the Tesla in the mortar, and then you're on cleanup, and boom, straight onto the town hall. That's always helpful as well. Um, I, I reckon this raid was pretty tight on time, you know. Um, but even so, the, the the bit he could have cleaned up with is, is a, probably a cleaner loon drop. I mean, it just all seemed a bit like chaotic almost when a few hogs are going onto some defences and one hog to finish another, and then looning a different, then a different side of the base. It all just seemed a bit um, a bit crazy. But perhaps he was just adapting to some fails or things that, or loons that he thought would kill a building and didn't. Either way, again, it worked out very well for Monster. He, he was able to bring a, a nice three-star home. Um, the actual plan and the hogs in the way they used the heal spell placement, I wasn't, I wasn't a hundred percent about. But I just like the way that he he tore tore apart that base with a limited amount of hogs. But because he was able to loon so many and. And sort of take those uh, all those buildings down at the start of the raid. It meant, meant the the cleanup in the second half was a lot easier. So that's why I wanted to show these raids this war, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, as always, let me know your thoughts on the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, just let people know about Clashing with Matty. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.